All right guys, welcome back to BNR Squad. And today's video is gonna be consisting of doing a, another DIY fidget spinner. So I am back in my kitchen and we are doing another fidget spinner video. But this one is gonna be a DIY fidget spinner. So the things you will need are any kind of box for skateboard bearings. They look like this. So that is the centerpiece of the fidget spinner that you will need to make it spin. These ones are Bones Reds, just like my previous video, which I will link up either here or here. Second thing you're gonna need is something for your fidget spinner that you're gonna be attaching to it. So I have a couple of lights right here that I will be attaching to the sides of the fidget spinner so that when it does spin, it lights up, and then I will be putting it in a dark room just so you can see what it looks like at night. And third is the glue gun, which you will need to attach the pieces from the lights to the fidget spinner. But before we get into the video, make sure you go down, smash the thumbs up button, that way I have good luck and that this fidget spinner video will work out and it will turn out. So without wasting time, let's get into opening these packages and other shit. All right, so in each package, it comes with four lights. One is probably a blue. I'm guessing it, I'm guessing it's gonna give off a blue light. Next one is just a regular white light. Then we have a red one, and then we have a green one. All you have to do to turn it on is just this little lever right here. You just move it over, and it turns on. So this one is actually projecting as blue, but on the camera it kind of looks pink purplish. And look at that. So what you're gonna wanna do is you're going to want to take just your hot glue gun, and you're gonna wanna put just a little drop, like literally a drop like that much, and then attach that to the bearing. And you're gonna wanna hold it until it dries because you're not gonna wanna get any part of the hot glue in between the thumb piece and the bearing. So just like that, as you can see, it does spin, so it does work. So once again, you're gonna want to grab your piece and then just do a little, 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 little dab on the piece. And then just once again, hold it till it dries. So as you can see, I have my first successful one. So I'm just gonna turn on the lights, even though it is light in here, just so I can show you guys what it looks like when it spins. So this is with its lights on, and I'm just gonna spin it. Look how insane that looks. Now for the next one, I'm going to put all four lights on one fidget spinner. So it's gonna be more than just red and blue. So I just finished, and this is what it's looking like. So when I spin it, it still looks pretty cool, even just without like the lights on. But with the lights on, I have to go in a dark room to show you guys, so follow me. All right guys, so right now I am just in my room. I have the two fidget spinners right here, and I will be turning off the lights, so all you'll be able to see are the lights on the fidget spinner. So the first one I have on is my red and blue one. Let's see what this looks like. One more spin. Okay, now for the best one that I think is going to work, which is the multicolored one. So I just turned it on. Check this out. So we have the blue, the red, the white, and the green. Let's see. Oh, okay. Okay. There is a little bit of glue in between the bearing and the thumb piece, but nonetheless, it still does spin. Oh, shit. And it still did look amazing, but I will go back to my regular 2-1 that works flawlessly. Does that not look insane? mesmerizing all right so now back to the kitchen let me just transfer it out boom and just like that we are back in my kitchen with both the red and the blue fidget spinner and we have the multi-colored fidget spinner so if you enjoyed that video and that DIY make sure you go down hit that thumbs up button make sure you share it with your friends Comment down below what other DIY fidget spinners you'd like to see from me. Make sure if you haven't already, go down, hit that subscribe button. It would mean a lot to me. And as always, see you next time.